is 36 year old Mohammed. Okay, Lavi, you are ready? And he fell in love with. Hi, everybody! 82 year old Iris. <laughs> Before I met Mohammed, life was pretty dull. Put me down! Put me down! <laughs> we love each other. Our love is growing day by day. Okay. And whilst many people don't agree with their 46 year age gap. My youngest son, he said, you know, he might be a scammer. I said, he's no scammer. I can spot a scammer. Iris and Mohammed are determined to prove that their love is real. Age is nothing, it's just a number. <laughs> Mohammed, where's my tea, please? Oh no. Your tea and your cake Thanks. and your tea. Thank you. Thank with, you, love. Without sugar. Hello, everybody. Before I met Mohammed, life was pretty dull. Usual everyday things go shopping, go walking, meet friends. Pretty humdrum, really. That was it. Look at that. You haven't changed from that image. I wasn't looking at all. <laughs> My son gave me a laptop and it opened the world for me. I do like talking and chatting to people from all over the world. And that's how I met my wonderful husband. We met on Facebook, June the 25th, 2019. And I've got it in my diary, entry. New contact from Egypt, Mohammed messaged me and uh, uh, told him I like archaeology and it was my dream to see the pyramids. And uh, he suggested I go there. Well, Mohammed started mentioning marriage. Within weeks, you know, uh, chatting on Facebook. How can you talk about marriage with someone you've never ever met? And I suggested we leave the subject of marriage until we actually met. The first true meeting was in Cairo Airport. Cairo Airport, yeah. And when I found the Iris, I found chemistry like each other. That's all, because in science is important more than our sight, you know? <laughs> oh, no. right, let me put my makeup on. Okay, love. Put my face on. Mohammed and I usually go on romantic dates. Sorry. A walk in the park, walk along the seafront, you know. Okay, love, you are ready? See how lovely he is. Oh. You don't necessarily have to spend money to enjoy one end of this company. Oh, you smell delicious. Thank you, Olivia. I could eat you. Thank you. Ready. Ready to, ready the, to eat. Ready to paint the town red. <laughs> okay? The knees are not what they used to be, but I've no aches and pains. Oh. Oh. That's the longest I've ever Take done care. it. Take care, I will take to you all the time. <laughs> I'm pretty fit for my age. I need to be to keep this gentleman supplied. <laughs> I can't carry you. <laughs> she also good wife, she clean, but she fussy. What they call yeah. two entendre. <laughs> <laughs> she cooking for us, we help each other. Put me down, put me down. <laughs> we have a she gap between our age, it's 46 years. No, say please. Please. Okay. It did bother me because of me so much older. It turned out that Mohammed was younger than my sons and I was older than the rest of his family put together. You know, but it, it wasn't a concern of his. He said, doesn't matter. What matters is the love we share. <laughs> When I started to tell the family about my relationship, the uh, reaction was not very good. I did lie at first and said he was 40, but my youngest son found out and he said, he's not 46, mum, he's only 35. You know, you're really serious about this bloke. And I said, yes. But you don't want squid. What squid? Calamari. It's like, well, I can't explain, it's horrible. You won't like it anyway, I don't think you like it. But you like mussels? What mean mussels? My son, he said, you know, he might be a scammer. I said, he's no scammer. I can spot a scammer. And mussels? Shellfish. Yeah. Right. It's okay. white? Yeah. Finger white? Not white, no, mussels are... Do you want steak? 
Do you want a fillet steak? No. no. Right. But all my friends, they were all for it. Jealous. Some my, people jealous. Yeah, but my <laughs> sons were, you know, naturally wary. <laughs> Mohammed wants risotto de mar. No squid. What do you mean squid? It's calamari. Calamari. Yeah, oh, yeah, I told yeah, you yeah. octopus. Octopus. No. But when you meet my family, yeah, what yeah. are you feeling in Egypt? Wonderful. Mother and father welcomed me with open three, arms. Three, four times. As did his sisters, you know. They could see we had true no, love. No, yes, they want me happy. Oh, lovely. What's this? Lovely. Uh, the risotto. Yeah, this is What is bronze? Prawns. Prawns. Prawns are these little ones here. Yes, yeah, thank you. It's nice to eat out and it saves me cooking at home. To change, you know, change our routine. <laughs> I'm not going to eat much more of this. Really? I'm afraid this is going in here. Hey, <laughs> it is not on camera. Hey, it doesn't matter. I've bloody paid for it, it doesn't matter. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll come again. Okay, thank you, see you. Stagger. Oh. Come on in. I told it to stagger. No. <laughs> I can't control myself. It's practically impossible for an Eastern man to come to Britain on whatever visa and get married over here. It doesn't happen. I had to go over there. We went to the British Embassy in Cairo. I went there three times. And on the third time, we was able to get married. I stayed there for three months. It took ages. Well, what I'd like people to know about age gap relationship, going by our example, is... <laughs> <laughs> it does work, it can work, maybe it can't, you know, but in our case, it's genuine and it can work. We love each other, our love is grow day by day. We have two trans kids. Anyone can be whoever they want. I'm just owning it. Our family is seen to be very unconventional. So I had kids and I can't be hot anymore. Like, moms are hot too. People say I look like a thug, but I love thugs. I take that as a compliment. I'm bored of people thinking that I cannot be intimate. I'm a young, single, hot piece of disabled booty. I feel like I'm going to look at myself and be like, who is that? Life is way too short to be hiding. It is my story, it is my truth.